witness a suspected breaking at Wingfield Hall. Your daddy runs a stately home. My father owns a stately home. Friends in high places? Define high places, sir. Has the Prime Minister been known to drop in for tea? Not to my knowledge, no. Ah. But certain members of the royal family do spend the occasional weekend there, far from the madding crowd. I have been asked, no, I have been ordered to grant you leave of absence. I'm sorry I don't understand, sir. Join the club, Makepeace, join the club. Your father is, I believe, a collector, right? No, actually, it was my grandfather who was the great collector. He was one of those true Victorian eccentrics. On one occasion, he travelled by camel. Spare me the details, Sergeant. Does your father have in his possession a collection of priceless antique jade artefacts? Yes. But actually, they're part of a trust for tax purposes, capital gains. They've been nicked. And quite naturally, your father is anxious to effect their recovery. As far as I'm concerned, it's a case for the Yard's art and antique squad, but I seem to be in a minority of one. So off you go. To do what, sir? To sort it out, Sergeant. To sort it out. And take that bloody yank with you. Tell him to keep that cannon of his holstered. We don't want complaints from the palace, do we? How are we doing? Nearly there. This is what I call landed gentry country. This is some estate. Dates back to the restoration. Restoration of what? Turn right there. Boy, this looks like some kind of historical place. The family have owned this estate since the Magna Carta. You know, if I lived then, I probably would have been a knight in shining armor. If you'd lived then, you'd have been shining the armor at night. Touché. Telephone. I did. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you're as beautiful as ever. You're a bit pale, though, you know. It's all that London. The air's bad for you. You should spend more time out here. I've lots to talk to you about. First of all, I want to know all about that awful American, that hoodlum Dempsey they foisted on you. Lieutenant James Dempsey, Lord Winfield. <laughs> How do you do? It's wonderful to see you. I hope you don't think I was referring to you. <laughs> Good Lord, no. No, it was some other frightful American. Another Dempsey entirely. A, a gorilla. Mm. <laughs> Not like you at all. Good man. What did that man carry our luggage through? It's customary. It is? If one is staying. Why is one staying? This is my home. This is your what? My home. And him? He's my father. Make peace. I'm gonna murder you. Installed by the same firm that safeguards the crown jewels. Look at this. Infrared beams, temperature alarms, pressure pads. You weren't taking any chances, sir. Well, the collection is regarded as priceless. Priceless, huh? 25 pieces of jade, Mr. Dempsey, or as we savants call it, nephrite. Every piece dating back to the Shang Yin dynasty. Very old. How old? The Shang Yin dynasty lasted from 1760 BC till the 12th century BC. That is old. <laughs> 25 pieces, you said, sir. Some countries would have gone to war for life.